Seniors headed to college will soon decide whether they will attend, but with all of our lives on hold right now, they're getting ready to make one of the biggest decisions of their lives. WHS 11 News at 430 continuing now. Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Doug Profit. And I'm Kristen Goodwillie. Now the decision date is usually May 1st, but some colleges are already pushing that date back. As Rose McBride tells us, this pandemic is having an effect on the next generation of the incoming freshmen. UofL did not have its traditional admitted students day this year where prospective students could walk around campus and meet some of their future classmates. Not being able to visit colleges has impacted some high school seniors decisions on where they'll go in the fall. DuPont Manual senior Rogine Sherwan made her college decision Tuesday. She'll attend the University of Michigan next fall. I went there in February before all of the coronavirus um, break happened. She had plans to visit a school in California over her spring break, but canceled the trip amid coronavirus concerns. Since she visited Ann Arbor, she felt confident making her decision. I couldn't get that experience with other colleges, so I feel like that's why maybe Michigan felt more personal to me. Getting to talk with students and faculty on campus helps a lot of students make their decisions. So with that canceled, colleges are relying on virtual tours and admission dates. We're every day brainstorming and, and coming up and, and rolling out new, you know, new things. UofL is working with students to help them find out if the school is the best fit for them. The May 1st deadline has been extended, and students who have been awarded scholarships now have until June 1st to decide. Students, you know, who are weighing options that, that have financial implications really do have more time to find out, like, what's happening with their families and what's happening with their financial situations. North Harden senior Kajana Anderson says cost is also a factor in where she will go to school. Like Sherwan, she was planning on using her spring break to visit schools. Now she's relying on talking to friends who currently attend and virtual tours. My counselor at my school had told me that you really won't get a feel of a place until you're there. So it's kind of weird doing it like that. In Louisville, Rose McBride, WHS 11 News.